Okay, channel, welcome back. All right, I got a um, question on my channel. Um, Colin Bennett asked me, why do we have um, elevators on garages that don't have apartments? So I'm going to try to answer that and a few little other little mysteries. But first, we're going to give our subs and watchers a shout out. I'll be back. Going to be a very long video, so you know how you all know what to do. Oh, but before we get to our video, let's give a big old thank you to our subscribers and watchers on the channel. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So, here's a big old thank you, and let's get on to the video here, shall we? Um, no, I am not going to answer this one. Why Trevor is in a dress. I will not answer that one. I don't, you know, there are some things you just don't want to know. And this is one of them, damn it. I will not n answer the mystery why Trevor is in a dress. So, if that's what you think one of mine were, eh, you're wrong. I'm not touching that with a 200 mile foot pole. Why Steve Ogg is in a dress. Not my problem. I don't want to know. Trevor wants to wear a dress. Let Trevor wear a dress. And he's freaking crazy anyway, so. There we go. All right. We're going to get to that. Not, not to Trevor. Not to Trevor. No, 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 no. Don't get this wrong now. Don't take this out of context, damn it. Alright, back in our garage. That's what we're talking about, the elevator. This elevator goes in any 10-car garage. Another little thing. What the hell is this freaking room for? We're going to be able to have the mechanic upgrade our cars from our garages later on? We don't know. Don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I've got, an, I've got a few questions for this place. All right. Got a few questions. No, not the nudie pictures up on the wall. It's a horny old um, store clerk. Nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing wrong with him having nudie pictures up on the wall. This bicycle can't do nothing with it. That's not it. Filing cabinet, no. More nudie pictures, not my problem. Can't do anything with the damn TV, but this freaking safe. Now look, you go and punch something and uh, he's, he calls the cops on you. Dirty, dirty Mr. Chang, or whatever his freaking name is. You can use anything you want on this safe and it won't blow the freaking door open. I tried. I knew this guy was going to be trouble. I just knew he was going to be trouble. When, I, when he was walking out and I was walking in, I just knew he was going to be a problem. Alright. Can I get my money my way? I did it my way. No, no. Scratch that. Scratch that. I have no Frank Sinatra. Alrighty. Give me a little bit of money. Alright. So those are the questions on the store I have. Now let's get on to. Now this garage has no apartment. Nothing up there. Nothing, I tell ya. There's an elevator and that room in there. Maybe I can go down to my meth lab one day. Or I can go to hell. Or purgatory, depending on what religion you're in. Or Brooklyn, New York, you know. Yeah, I've been to hell already. It's called Hunts Point Market. <laughs> but there's some weird things. And I think it's pretty much the same format as what it is. I'm going to climb the roof. See if there's anything up here. You know, a little hidden uh, meth lab. Anything? Anything! I can't get up here this way. 
Well, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, and later on, we're going to try to answer some of the things in Franklin's house, too. So you might want to stay tuned for that. Same, same bat time, same bat channel, as they say. Can I get over here this way? So it doesn't look like that roof there I'll be able to put a helicopter on. So why do we have an elevator in our garage, damn it? Alright, can I get up here this way? No. Another thing I like to ask in our office buildings, every one of them has got a garage in it, but you cannot access it. So are we going to be able to store cars in our office buildings? And most of our warehouses have cameras around back, but there is no camera or TV on the inside of the warehouse. That's another question I got. Okay. Well, why are you going down? Get your ass back up on that roof. Okay. Keep going up. Keep going up. Don't look like you can you can park a helicopter up here. This is not my roof. That roof over there, down below us. I think that's it. Ew! That hurt my hell. This roof right here, well, actually this little roof right there, is my garage. Or it might be that jagged roof right there next to me. I can't get up into there. So, I don't know why there's an elevator. and um, But the uh, thing in the back will be probably for the mechanic. The only thing I can think of. Only thing I can think of, damn it. You know, most of your 10-car garages are the same. Your two-car garages, whether you have it hooked to a house or not, there's a door inside of it. You know, look... So you got an elevator here. Hold on. Turn around. An alarm system. We'll be able to uh, activate the alarm system later on so nobody can steal our cars. Well, you know what? Somebody would try, probably find something to hack it with. And unless we got full insurance on it, they can sell it. So... You know, it might be one day that we'll have to put full insurance on the really rare cars. This way they can't steal our cars out of our garage. I don't know. You know, that's just a guesstimate. Yeah, you got breaker boxes, this and that in here. You know, you got the damn electric uh, garage door. Why do we got to pull the garage door open manually? It used to be, it used to open electrically. All right, let's go with Franklin here. I've seen a video. I think the guy had a mod menu, though. He got into these rooms inside this house, which was pretty freaking interesting. Really interesting. You could come off the staircase. This first room right here was filled to the ceiling with gold. Gold bricks right to the ceiling. All right. This one was filled with money and stuff. This one has some cars that are not in Grand Theft Auto in. And, you know, you can't get into them. You can't get into them whatsoever. You know, there's lights on in them, but if I'm paying the light bill for them, I want to get the hell in there. Yeah, I know. What does story mode have to do with Grand Theft Auto V? I keep getting that crap in messages. Story mode has nothing to do with Grand Theft Auto V. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, and this room. Garbage cans full of money. You know, I've seen a video on that. I don't know how the hell he did that. But that would be kind of neat. We could get it in, in, into there. That would be awfully damn neat, I think. You know, people say Michael's Mansion. Excuse me, but a three-bedroom, one-bath 
house is not a mansion. Back where I come from in um, Reading, PA, it's got to have over 10 bedrooms and uh, have a have a great room and this and that for it to be a, considered a mansion. All right, I'm not even going to ask you what your problem is. I used you. I don't even know what your problem is. Maybe I'm using you too hard. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think I'm going to have to enroll her in passages or something. Okay. Well, that's it with that shit. Okay, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching that, Madam Ursa. Feel free to leave a comment there. Yeah. You got any uh, answers for any of this? I'd like to know. You want to see more videos like this or others that are on the channel? Well, hell, don't be shy and please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video of Venture here.